hey guys and welcome back to another video so today i'm bringing you this beautiful soft pastel look for you guys like i really do absolutely love it so if you like to see how i achieve this look then make sure that you keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe hello my gorgeous viewers so this is really in like an impromptu makeup video my skin is looking good right now and i just got inspired to do my makeup so yeah let's just hop right into it for starters i'm going to take my milk hydro grip primer and I've been really obsessed with this one. It's really a good investment. PBH. Yeah. So I went through my makeup drawer and I decided to play with the Ultimate Utopia palette from NYX. It looks like this inside. Pretty colors. So I think I just want to do something simple out of away from the browns and the neutrals just creating something that's different I really need to go ahead and get my brow tutorial out the way for you guys so y'all can see how I do my brows I like how I do them now rather than how I did them like a month ago or no because I've been doing this for a month probably like well, from the beginning of this year until now, I like how well I um, I updated my brow routine. So if you would like to see that, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below, or you can also give this video a big thumbs up so I can see that you guys are interested. Okay, so my brows are, are really gonna take me, what? So I'm going to just skip ahead in the future of this video and we're going to come back when my brows are done and we're going to get to the rest of the face. Boom. Eyebrows are done. So I think I want to start with my eyeshadow first because I don't remember, I don't remember how well these um, shadows performed or if there was any fallout. So. In order to prevent a headache, I rather just get this up away from So I'm using the Milani Conceal Imperfect to prime my eyes and then to set that primer, I'm using my Maybelline Lasting Fix. I'm just going to lightly dust over, over that um, concealer. Just to make sure that everything is set and ready to go for the shadows. So, um, open this up i really do like the color pattern in this palette it's so cute yeah so to start off i'm going to take let's take this shade right here yeah this shade right here because this is definitely a shimmer and we don't want this but yeah this brown shade for our transition lightly coat this this is really pretty actually wow I definitely thought it was going to be more of a tan color but it has some pink undertone to it like a pinkish orange undertone And this brush, this is, I believe this is an E7 brush from ColourPop. I've had it for a while and the number um, disappeared. So I definitely need to re-up because this is a really good brush. So 
So now that we have that out the way, I'm going to go into next, sorry. Let's go into this shade actually, cause this looks, okay, so the colors in person and versus what's on the screen looks completely different like this shade right here looks like a pastel but it's a soft blue so maybe that's a pastel whatever but i'm going to go into this brick shade right here and we're just going to go in the crease this is a m453 brush from morphe and i'm just going to Put that directly into the cuff of my crease. Even though we're like still in the middle of summer. Are we officially in the middle of summer? If so, I am completely over it. I am ready for the fall, to be honest. Like, I love the warm weather because, you know, I love the summer only because the sun is still out at like eight o'clock because it's 7.30 right now and the sun is still up, but it's setting right now, but it's so pretty outside. Like, I love it simply because of that. But as far as like the heat, I'm completely over it. I wanna wear my blazers without sweating. And I can't really do that in the summertime. I mean, I can, but that's not cute to sweat. For me, that's not cute. And I don't like that. So to deepen that crease up a little bit more, I'm going to go into this shade right here. I really wish they had um, names on the colors, like below it or above it or whatever, but hey. And then going back in with that M453 brush to help blend that out. Blend that up. Up and out. And they do blend out really well with each other. Oh. I really don't know why I like stayed away from my palettes. Like, I'll just do a simple brown look and then go outside, but. I gotta, I gotta bring back the, the looks. I can't keep on giving y'all fashion tips and forget about the, the makeup part, you know? Makeup and fashion go in hand in hand. Cause without fashion, there'll be no beauty. And without beauty, there'll be no fashion. We gotta keep it like that. So I gotta remember to stay true to, to my roots. So I just wanna build up this shade just a little bit. And blend that inward. And blend it out. I didn't go back in this time with this brush. This is probably like the third time I'm doing this or second time I'm doing this. And I'm just lightly blending that darker shade out. And then going back in with that transition brush. I still didn't go into any of the colors. I just picked it up. And then blending it out once again. We'll further blending it with this fluffy brush. Like that. So I'm actually going to cut my crease 
So I'm gonna use my Milani concealer again and I'm gonna take it on this M167 brush from Morphe. And then going back into that darker shade, I'm going to pack it on the edge like so. And lightly place it on the top part. Keeping it like that. Basically, I'm using the same colors that I used before to help blend it inward or to make that gradient effect. So for my lid, I'm going to take, I do want some color. So I think I'm going to take this. If I do this, I hope I don't, no. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm gonna take it on this crayon case brush. It has no number on it. And I'm going to Pack it on the inside corner and pack it on the middle and brush it backwards. Yeah, we're gonna do that. This color is really standing out to me for some reason and I kind of want to use it. The color that's directly below it, this one right here. And I'm taking it on, I believe I got this brush from Morphe. Can't remember, the name's not on it anymore, but I'm pretty sure it's from Morphe. And I'm going to go on the outer corner, like the middle, packing that on. And using this purple brush again to blend it. To get a better blend, I'm going to take this pointed, smaller blending brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to blend those two colors together. Ever so lightly. I'm actually going to pick some up of that. It's almost like a, uh, a muted gray blue and packing that down like so. That's cute. So I'm gonna hop off camera and do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm gonna come back and we're going to finish up the rest of the face. Sidebar, I really do think that I have my perfect foundation match combo. So I've been using the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation in F4.20 and then my NARS Natural Radiant foundation in Macau and mm -hmm, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and set the center of my face and I'm using my Laura Mercier setting powder on this pointed fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to take my Black Radiance True Complexion um, contour palette and I'm gonna start off with the sculpt shade first which is the middle shade 
And I'm putting that right before the hollows of my cheek. And then going into the contour shade and lightly dusting that on the hollows of my cheekbones. Dusting away any leftover powder. When I don't have my um, uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, that got in my mouth. When I don't have my my sponge around, I take my foundation brush and press these setting spray in. <laughs> Yes. I don't know if you guys can see, but this side right here, the color is starting to fade. So I'm gonna have to go back in and jazz that up a little bit. I'm going to go into the darkest shade that's in this palette. It's this one right here. And it's almost like a purplish black color. And I'm gonna just place it on my waterline. Just stamp it on like that. And I'm gonna go into this shade again to blend that out. Mm. Side, sidebar, y'all wanna know what's been playing in my head for the past couple of days? I Ain't Perfect by Mozzie featuring Blast and I love Blast. If y'all don't know who Blast is, please check him out because you're sleeping on the kid and he is like really amazing. Elevated my hustle. I had to. Enemies close, watch it. Put me up But yeah, that's my song. That's been playing in my head for a while. I actually like how blown out I made this lower eye. It's giving me, uh, it's giving me something I don't know yet until I put on my lashes. So uh, let's do that. This is really pretty, to be honest. Let's see what this boy want. That she looks like a Disney princess. Impossible. All right, so I had to switch over to a voiceover because I was on the phone and I don't want y'all to hear my little conversation with my little friends or whatever. So for my inner corner, I'm taking this shimmer shade right here and I'm popping that into my tear duct area and I'm using a pencil brush for this and I'm going to gently brush it backward into that lid shade that I have just so it can have a pretty gradient effect now the lashes that I'm using these are from kiss this is their matte black lash I believe that's the name of this lash line I believe it in the description box below so you guys can get your hands on it I did pick it up from Ulta it was probably like eight dollars or something so it's super super cheap and I absolutely 
love it okay so for blush I'm using my Roxy palette by Makeup Revolution and I took two shades and I blended them together and I got this pretty peach coral shade and then I took my uh, I believe it's my mega highlighter from Makeup Revolution in just my type once again it will be in the description box below so you guys can get your hands on it I didn't go crazy with the highlight because I wanted the focal point to be the eye since it's so bright the lid shade and yeah I wanted that to be the focal point of the look now for lips I took this brown lip liner from makeup revolution once again that will also be in the description box and I outlined it and then I filled out the corner of my lips as well and then I went in with a Milani lipstick I can't remember the name but once again check the description box <laughs> And then I went on top with a uh, lip gloss. I took two. So the first one is my lifter gloss from Maybelline in Amber. And then I used a glitter gloss from NYX. Um, it's almost like a little topper. So it just pulled the lips together really, really well. And it just did everything for me. Okay, so I'm going to put on some clothes and we're going to wrap up this video. So, be our right, So, this concludes today's video. I really, absolutely do really love this look. If you haven't already picked up the Ultimate Utopia palette, make sure you head on over to your local Ulta and pick it up because this is really, really... 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. So, yeah. I really wish I was going out tonight because this look is like everything to me. It's the hair and the jewelry. Yeah, 10 out of 10. But I would like to thank you guys once again for tuning in to another video. Thanks for staying till the end. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that bell post notification so you'll never miss out on an upload. So thank you once again and I hope I get to see you guys in the next one. Bye.